Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be putting in a Delta Grab Assist Bar, which is this right here, to help with getting in and out of a bathtub. Yes, this is the what comes with the kit, and this is an Allen wrench. And there are these little inserts that go inside, and they look like this. And those inserts tie into the wall and make sure that it is secure. We have decided that the placement will be here. So you can grab going in, grab going out, just to steady. It's all it's for is just to help steady as you're getting in and out of the bathtub. What we want to do is uh, we want to put a couple little marks on the wall. Uh, ideally, you'd use some painter's tape. This does not seem to be painter's tape but it's easy to see on the wall. So what I'm gonna do, just so that it doesn't take off any paint, gently put it on a cotton t-shirt. And what that does is it takes away some of the tack because it is putting some of the cotton onto the back of the tape. So this is approximately where we want this. We're gonna do the same method, just a little run through on the t-shirt. Now we have a surface that we can see any of our marks on. So I want to orient where center and level is. This is called a bullet level and they're handy to have for all kinds of household work. I'm going to mark where I want the left edge to be. There, now you can see the line. And once you've got this lined up, is you're going to make a circle template. So just go around the edge. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And what I'm doing now is I'm measuring where the center of this hole is. So the center is one and three eighths to the very middle. Take a pencil and then mark it. That's my dead center. So that's what it looks like up close. Those are our center points. This is where you take a little punch. It's just a little tiny pointed in tool. You could use a nail. And you just give a little punch right in the middle. There's a stud. No stud. Yeah, we do know that it's hollow back where we want to put this. So we're going to put these molly bolts in, which will help uh, secure it and keep it safe. You drill a hole, they get inserted, they open up, and then you tighten them out down against the back of the wall. And I put this right in the middle of the center punch, try and get square. Go right through. Drill the ones they provided here are pretty chunky, so a half inch. I may have to go back and open this up more. So let's get a half inch drill bit, center it. You want it to clear going through the drywall. So I'm going to Bring this in maybe a half inch and then feed it through. All right, let's see if we can tap that through now. There we go. And then it should be spreading once we're back there. There, I can feel that. We have a problem. I made an amateur mistake, which can happen to anybody, and that is I forgot to put the attachment on. Uh, which is the fitting that hold it tight to the wall. The bad news is I may have lost one of my mollies. The good news is uh, it's still lined up back there and I might luck out. So cross your fingers and let's see if I can do that. If I can get it back into the nut. Gotta be very gentle. 
So yeah, I got it. <laughs> I lucked out on that. So it's good to put just a little pressure on the back of the screw to pull it forward. And this helps get the screw in place. Now you can use a drill if you like to speed things up, but we can just keep going here. I'm going to leave it just a little bit loose. Slide this on like this. So the flat side goes toward the screw head. Get it started. Okay, once it's started, we can fold this down. And then give it a tap. So I just push it the rest of the way in. And it's already grabbing. Which is exactly what we want. Forward pressure. And now I'm going to snug it down because it is visually centered. Now I'm going to leave that one just a tad bit loose. Why? It's because I'm going to do a rough fit right now. Just like that. And we are happy that those are fitting and they're aligning just right. With that, we're going to snug this down. The alignment is good. We're on the home stretch now. Now that these are on, they're tight, they're secure, we can start removing the tape. We're ready for the Allen wrench which is provided and attaching the bar. You want to make sure that it's flat, flat, flat against the wall. Um, otherwise it might not be seated properly and it could pop off, which would not be a good thing. Now, all you do is take this and start snugging it down. Now you want it snug, but you don't want to strip the screw like that. It feels nice and sturdy. Much, much better for assisting getting in and out of a deep tub and making sure that you've got two to three points of contact at any time. So this is Lynn with MI Tinker and thanks for joining me today for another uh, how-to in putting in this Delta curved assist bar to make this bathroom a safer place for the homeowner. Time to clean up.